Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Divi Nation. Divi Nation is a podcast and YouTube show by Elegant Themes, a proud leader in the premium WordPress theme and plugin market. Now, as always, the goal of Divi Nation is really simple. We want to provide you with the knowledge, insights, and supportive community that you need to be successful with WordPress and Divi. I'm your host, Nathan B. Weller, and as your host, it's my job to facilitate that success. So to that end, in today's episode of Divi Nation, I'm going to show you how you can use one of Divi Lead's less obvious features, the tracking shortcode. Let's get into it. In this Divi Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to track off-page goals with the Divi Leads tracking shortcode. First, let's talk about what the tracking shortcode is and how it works. Then I'm going to show you how to use it. So the Divi Leads tracking shortcode allows you to track goals that exist outside the page that you're running your split test on. Consider this example. Uh, let's say that you're split testing an image element on a new lead generation page for your e-course business. The goal of this page is to collect emails to be imported into your CRM system or email service provider. Once those emails are imported, you launch an email marketing campaign. This campaign is designed to encourage your new subscribers to purchase your e-course from a unique product page. This makes it possible for you to determine exactly where those purchases are coming from. After each sale is completed, customers are referred to a thank you page unique to that product. It is this thank you page where you will need to place your tracking shortcode, allowing you to see how many people made it all the way through your sales funnel. In the rest of this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that with Divi Leads and a WooCommerce product. Step one, create a unique product for your campaign. So as you can see here, uh, I have a product in my shop uh, that I'd like to sell. It's a mind blowing e-course. And of course, I'd like to sell as many of them as possible. Part of the process is figuring out which incentives or combination of incentives results in the most sales. Uh, that's where creating a unique sales funnel comes in. Uh, if I can create a unique sales funnel that tracks the effectiveness of each step of my that my customer has to take, then I'll know which parts of the funnel are working and which are not. So as in my earlier example, we're going to have four unique stages of our sales funnel. We're going to have a landing page, an email marketing campaign, a product page, and a thank you page. So let's create our unique product first. If we go to the back end here, to my WooCommerce products, we can see that I've created basically what's just a duplicate of this original product. Uh, I've just, the only difference is that I provide a special subscriber rate of 20% off. So this will be my incentive for people to give me their email address. I've also set it up so that this version of my product will not appear in my store. The only way that anyone will ever see this is if they click on the link that I'll provide in my email campaign. All right, so now we need to create a new landing page and a unique thank you page. As you can see, I've created this landing page for my fictitious e-course company. So this is the page where I'll be running my split test. It will also be the beginning of my funnel. So let's check out uh, what that looks like on the back end. Here you can see that I've already got a split test running. For this test, I'm trying to determine which of these images on the right will result in more email opt-in signups on the left. But what I also want to do is see how many people who sign up via this landing page actually end up making a purchase and get all the way through uh, my sales funnel. To do that, there's two things that I need to do. First, I need to make sure that within my email opt-in here that I have a unique list um, for either MailChimp or whatever email service provider I'm using so that only um, those who sign up on this page are on that list. The second thing I need to do is get a tracking shortcode uh, to place at the end of my sales funnel by clicking on this hamburger icon right here. When I go to shortcode tracking and I turn it on, what I'm going to see is th this shortcode generated right here. And I'm going to need to place that all the way at the end of my funnel so that I can see how many people make it from here to there. So real quick, let me show you how to do that. So simply copy this shortcode, exit your builder settings. You want to go to pages, add new, 
I've actually already created uh, my special thank you page, but you're probably gonna have to create yours from scratch. Um, when you do create it, the important thing is that you embed the short code that you just copied um, from your landing page over to here. And I, I ended up creating just an extra text module and pasting that code right there. And I just named it tracking short code so that if I came back, it would be easy to spot and find. Okay, step three. Um, now that we have our unique product page, unique landing page, and unique thank you page, we've got one last really important thing that we need to do. We need to link our unique product to our unique thank you page. So to do this, we actually need um, a piece of a PHP code snippet, um, and we need to place that in our child themes functions.php file. So this code snippet is provided by Andrew Wickle over from uh, the WooCommerce, or sorry, the WooThemes support uh, website. And I've included that snippet in the accompanying blog post for this. I've also linked this tutorial up in the blog post and in the video um, description. Once you've copied that code snippet, this one right here, go to Appearance Editor. Let's go Appearance Editor. And click on your functions PHP file over here. And you're going to want to paste that right into your functions.php. Um, and then you're going to want to follow these commented instructions and place your product ID here and the URL for your thank you page right here. When you're done, click update file. Okay, so now all the pieces should be in place. When site visitors hit your landing page, they can sign up for your mailing list via the form that you've provided. Meanwhile, in the background, Divi Leads will be helping you optimize your page via split testing. Then, through your email provider, you can send an email campaign to just those who signed up via this particular landing page. Those who click on your offer from that page will land on your unique product page. And those who purchase your product will finish their journey by landing on your unique thank you page. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what can we learn by creating such a tightly controlled sales funnel? Well, in the first stage, we can learn how effective our landing page is. We'll know this by how many email signups it captures. Using Divi Leads, we can optimize it section by section and module by module until we get it just right. Next, in stage two, we can determine how effective our emails are. If we're getting loads of signups but very few email opens or click-throughs, then we know something needs uh, some work on the email side. The same goes for our product page in stage three. If lots of people are landing on our product page but relatively few of those people are making it to our thank you page, then something probably needs tweaking there. And finally, if you'd like to see just how many people are making it all the way through your funnel from start to finish, all you have to do is go back to your landing pages builder and view the split testing stats. Uh, so let's check that out. Here's our landing page on the back end, and here's our builder stats right here with this like kind of um, animated bar graph. There's going to be a new tab called shortcode conversions. And it's here that we can see how many people made it. And down in the summary and data, we can even see how many people made it all the way through our sales funnel. Um, based on our split test. So from image to image, um, which version of the page was most effective. Okay, so this is just one example of how you can use Divi Leads tracking shortcode. So using the same logic and a bit of imagination, there are all kinds of page goals, uh, off page goals that you might wanna track. You can track everything from third party e-commerce plugins, uh, like, like this example, to leads generated by third-party opt-in systems, to contact form submissions, and really anything else that you can think of. Well, that's all for this episode of Divi Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I really look forward to reading and responding to your feedback. Uh, before we go, though, I have one pretty big announcement. So since the start of this podcast last year, the one guest that most of you have requested to be on the show 
Nick Roach, the founder and CEO of Elegant Themes, the guy behind all of this, is finally going to be on the show. And it gets better. Instead of me writing all the questions, we're going to open up the floor to the community. We want you to send your questions to Nick and to me at podcast at elegantthemes.com. I'm going to curate and organize the final list of questions, and then we'll record the episode uh, with Nick just like we normally do, but of course, using your questions. So if you've ever wanted to chat Nick up, ask him that one burning question or simply pick his brain on a topic that you're really interested in, hopefully WordPress related, uh, then this is your chance. Again, submit all questions for Nick to me at podcast at elegantthemes.com. Okay, so now we're done with the show for real. If you have any questions about the tutorial uh, that we went over, uh, the Divi Leads tracking shortcode, feel free to drop them in the comments section wherever you're watching or listening to this, uh, whether that's on Facebook, YouTube, or our blog, and I'll do my best to follow up with you in a timely manner. You can also email me directly. Again, that's podcast at elegantthemes.com. All right. Thanks again for tuning in, everyone. I look forward to seeing you around the community. And as always, we'll be back next week with another episode of Divi Nation. See you then.